Hello everyone, so in this lecture I will talk about the relation between the complex numbers and combinatorics. So, the question that is asked, asked is to evaluate two series. So, I have a series, series S1, which is equal to 0 from n, combination of 2 from n plus for n minus 6 n etc and another one which is like 1 n minus 3 n plus 5 from n etc so the question is to evaluate these two series so the idea is that I will use the binomial expansion of 1 minus i to the power of n. So this i here is the imaginary unit. So I will start with calculating this, the expansion corresponding to these, this complex number. So, this will be like the summation from j equal to 0 to n, j n minus i to the j, and i to the power of n minus j. So, just to remind you what is j from n, this, or uh, n m, which is also denoted by, for example, this C N M. This is, in fact, M factorial over N factorial multiplied by M minus N factorial. And this is the different ways to, to construct a subset of N different objects from M distinct objects so just this is just to recall so this series can be simplified this is one always as summation from j equal to 0 to n minus 1 to j i to j and combination of j from n different objects. So, now I will focus on this term, i to different powers j. So, what happens if I raise i to different natural powers? So, i to the power of 0 is 1. i to the power of 1 is i. Another power, this second one is minus 1. To the power of 3 is minus i. And finally, to the power of 4 is equal to 1. So what happens? There is a period of 4 here. And we observe that i to the power of n plus 4 is exactly equal to the i to the power of n. So... Now I, I will try to simplify again these terms. So I will have 0 from n. So minus 1 to the power of 0 i to 0. This will give 1 so multiplied by, by 0 from n. For j equal to 1, we have minus 1 here times i, so minus i times 1 from n. The second one is plus 1 here and minus 1 here, so minus 2 from n. And likewise, I will have plus i 3n plus 4n plus etc. Et so. This 
is the binomial expansion of this complex number in terms of n and i. If I simplify again and regroup the terms, I will see that 0 from n minus 2 n plus 4 n minus 6 from n etc etc and if I fact I factorize this i I'll have minus i times 1 from n minus 3 n plus 5 n etc and I will have s1 minus i s2 and I, so this s1 here which appears exactly here as the imaginary part of this complex number so we observe that s1 is exactly the real part of the complex number 1 minus i to n and the series s2 is equal to the imaginary part of 1 minus i to n in fact minus imaginary part of this complex number so the question which was calculating these two series now is to evaluate simply the real and imaginary part of these two complex numbers which is really straightforward so 1 z equal to 1 minus i to the power of n i will start with 1 minus i in the plane of complex numbers so real part imaginary part this is 1 this is minus i and this is z1 for example z1 to n and the complex number z1 because of the fact that this angle is minus pi over 4 and this the amplitude here is the square root of 2 z1 is simply square root of 2 minus exponential of minus p pi over 4 times i so if i come back here i have this z1 to the power of n which can be again simplified as minus n pi over 4 times i so finally i have 2 raised to the power of n half times cosine of n pi over 4 minus i sine n pi 4 so the real part of z or i minus 1 minus i to n is simply equal to 2 to the power of n half times cosine of n pi over 4 and the imaginary part of the same complex number is minus 2 n half sine of n pi over 4 consequently the series s1 which was equal to 0 from n minus 2 n plus combinations of 4, 4 from n minus etc this is simply equal to this term and the series s2 1 from n minus 3 n plus 5 n minus etc this will be equal to 2 to the n half times sine of n pi over 4 so this problem is one of the applications of the complex numbers in calculating the series in combinatorics so here the the thing that happens is that we can think that the these numbers in fact 
individually are the na natural numbers. So the minus plus operators finally gives give us a natural number. So S1 and S2 a priori belong to N or Z. And we can see here, in fact, that for different values of n, for example, n equal to 0, this term is equal to 1. And this term also is equal to 1. And the series, in fact, is 0 from 0. Because for n equal to 0, s1 simplifies just as the first term. 0 from 0 is exactly equal to 1. For example, for n equal to 2, we have 0 from 2, minus 2 from 2, which is equal to 0. And here, for n equal to 2, we have cosine of pi over 2, which is equal to 0. So we can observe that even uh, that this term seems to be not n natural or belongs to z, in fact, this, these two terms gives the natural numbers for S1 and S2. Thanks for your attention.